SPCA Information Center, how can I help you? Hey, what have you guys been up to this year? What have we been up to? Well, why tell you when I can show you? Follow me. How am I supposed to follow you? Are you still there? Hello? visited 11 First Nations communities. Uh, we've done over 752 surgeries and we've done over 1,742 wellness clinics. One of the groups that we've made a really close connection with is the Wiki Res Dog Group. Uh, Bruno, Jenny and Jean who run a rescue group on uh, Manitoulin Island and all the way along as Ontario SPC has been a great partner of ours. travels with the mobile unit and now acts as a recovery unit while the mobile is out in remote areas. We can provide a safe, secure place for the animals to recover in. It's heated, it's air conditioned, it's got cages, running water, and all the necessities to be a proper recovery unit for the mobile. So I also think of notable mention is about a year ago, uh, we started our own multimedia division here at the Wildland District SPCA. Uh, we have our own YouTube channel and currently uh, one of our videos has been picked up and it was shown on Inside Edition in New York, uh, into the UK, on Dodo, and we're very proud of the development within our multimedia department and we look forward to expanding it in the future as well. SPCA Video Helpline. Yeah, this is gonna be a bigger project than I thought. I'm gonna need a co-producer. Did you have anyone in particular in mind? Get me Emily Cook. Today we are celebrating the success of National Cupcake Day by baking up some cupcakes. It's never too early to preheat those ovens and get ready for the most exciting event of the year, National Cupcake Day, happening on February 26, 2018. While these cupcakes are going to rise, we are going to take a look at some of the highlights from this year's event. <laughs> now in its fifth year, National Cupcake Day had 58 SPCAs and Humane Societies partake, with over 2,000 participants who got involved to help bake a difference. We are so excited that this year the event raised over $600,000 across the country for animals in need. It's super easy to get involved. Participants register on the website nationalcupcakeday.ca and then they get to choose any day in January or February to host their very own Cupcake Day party and help raise funds for animals across the province. Shout out to the incredible Anna Olson, our Cupcake Crusader, who helped us do some amazing media coverage right across the province and nationally, all to help support National Cupcake Day. Thank you so much to you, all of our Ontario SPCAs and our affiliates for working so hard to help make National Cupcake Day such a great success. Start your timers. The countdown to National Cupcake Day is on. Tonight, as the investigation continues into the largest case of farm animal abuse ever in the Northeast. New the ASPCA gave us a call. They had a large investigation down in the Massachusetts area, and they were having a hard time locating enough personnel and trailers to help move the livestock out. Uh, they had worked with us in the past and knew that we had a large livestock trailer and they asked if it was available and we said yes and we were on the road the next day heading down uh, to give them a hand. Once we were there it was a bit of an overwhelming experience. The large property that we were on with over a thousand animals on 70 acres, it was just just unreal how deplorable these conditions were that all of these animals were living in. There were several trailers on site. Trailers were going constantly. Uh, I was a driver of our unit. Uh, I took several loads of animals a day and it took three days by the time we were able to get everything off site 
and to the new housing facility where these animals started to receive the care that they needed. Thank you to the ASPCA for partnering with us to help improve animal welfare across North America. My name is Sonia Reichel and I'm the Executive Director with the Georgian Triangle Humane Society. 2016 was a great year for our organization. We received three gifts from our community and today I'm going to talk to you about one of the life-saving gifts, a dog play yard. So we're here right now in our dog park that was uh, brought to us and generated as the result of a private donation from a local foundation. It's a 50 by 50 space that our dogs can utilize to play, to socialize and to interact and just be dogs. Prior to this dog yard, we had a volunteer program where our dog walkers would take the dogs out just from the kennels and take them out for walks uh, along the street or on the trails and that was wonderful, except for it didn't really give the opportunity for the dogs to express their doggy nature. We knew at the Humane Society that allowing them to run would really reduce their anxiety, improve their health and overall improve their adoptability. So this dog park has been amazing for our program, amazing for our dogs and uh, we hope in 2017 to really start to see a reduction in our length of stay for Finding Forever Homes.